So this is my book, and here we go. So I'm gonna have words and writing in between each pages. I'm just trying to make a prototype. And these hieroglyphs, 20, 30,000 years old. Moses with the horns. You know, then I got a lot of these pictures, the zodiac stained glass in the church and all the Bible quotes. Just a lot. And then I got lots of different different Bible quotes about how if you believe in the zodiac, you go to hell. Why is it in the church? I got all the symbolism in here. The triangular symbolism, the church, all, all churches are built triangle symbolism. Okay, the triangle, okay, the eye of Horus. The triangle symbol symbolizes spiritual enlightenment. Okay, you have the Solomon's Temple, okay? The meaning of Solomon's Temple, Sol, Om, On. It's sun worship. Solomon's Temple never existed, okay? An ancient, ancient deity named Set, okay? That was one of the oldest, oldest religions. Set is literally night, okay? One of the oldest religions is dark, first day. And Set was one of the most ancient deities. Then you have Sin, who is a moon god. And you also have the zodiac found in the Esna temple. This is thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. And here's that. And this is my book that I'm working on. And in between each one of these pages is going to be a lot of writing on each one of these things. So... I hope people are interested in this stuff and will purchase this book. Look at these Renaissance paintings of Jesus pointing at the sun. What is that? That's the Southern Cross is what he's pointing at there. And uh, let's see, the Pisces hats, okay? Jesus represents Pisces, the two fish. It's in all the hats. It's in the symbolism. It's everywhere, okay? That's on an Egyptian wall right there. Now, even you have the uh, four gospel writers, okay? In the Bible, John, Luke, Mark, and Matthew, okay? Check them out. Look at that. All four of them. And you know what they resemble? You know what they resemble? If you guessed, the four seasons. All right. Now we have here, look at this. We have... The scorpion. Why a scorpion? Well, in the Bible, it talks about the kiss of Judas, where Judah kisses Jesus to betray him. There's a statue, the kiss of Judas. What is that? It's the kiss of death. When a scorpion stings you, it leaves bite marks, it sting marks. Those sting marks look like lips, okay? That's called the kiss of death. It's Italian mafia. It goes way, way back. Moses Back to Moses with the horns. He represents Aries. Moses was Egyptian. People forget this, okay? Way back then, we're talking 4,000 years ago, they worshipped the volcano. Moses was a volcano worshipper. It was a volcano worshipping religion. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Moses, again, represents Aries. Blowing the horn, okay? These were also moon-worshipping people, and the horns also represent the quarter moon of the moon. The moon when it's in its quarter moon, okay? Now, we have Moses in the Bible finding manna to give to his people, okay? The law bringer, but he finds manna. And what is manna? Well, as it turns out, it was like coriander seed in its appearance. Um, it was, if, let's see, where else? I got so much of this manna talk here. Uh, manna is found after a night's rain, and what they actually did was they ate this stuff. It was the bread that came from heaven, and it turns out a lot of scholars believe it was mushrooms. Manna was mushrooms. So really back then, you have Moses and the manna, okay? Now back then, they worshipped volcanoes, okay? They worshipped the moon, and they took mushrooms, all right. Now, this stuff is all true. Um, and even the high priests, what do those hats look like? 
okay? What do they look like? Okay, the high priest wore mushroom hats. It's in the symbolism. Everything's in the symbolism. Now, when Moses, look at that, it's a caduceus. When Moses comes down from the mountain, okay, he has the tablets. That's an Egyptian story, which comes from the 42 negative confessions. Okay, it's, it's an Egyptian, from the Egy ancient Egyptian book of the dead. All right, they were worshiping the bull because they were in Taurus. I could talk about this for hours and hours. I mean, this is, so this is the book I'm writing right now. And it's going to be just like this. This is the prototype. And it's going to be a fat book. And I haven't even, I mean, I still got a ways to go because all these pictures I haven't put in yet. Like, this is the southern, the sun setting on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th of December, the southern cross. Okay, there's your zodiac. We have so many Bible quotes I got to put in there. Um, the Lion of Judah with the Cleonian lion skin. All right. Um, just beautiful pictures. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Look at this. This is found. This is thousands of years old. Look at that. Thousands of years before Jesus. Okay, so I'm putting this together and I hope that people will buy it because it's going to be a little bit expensive because um, it's going to cost a little bit to make because I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it in color. I'm going to make it look good. So I hope people buy it, but it's going to be on symbolism and just on everything. Look at this. This is Mithra. Mithraism, that's a Mithra altar. Mithraism was worshipped in ancient Rome. And uh, this stuff is all fascinating. You know, we... The Vatican control the world, and the Vatican is the Roman Empire. So when you learn the symbols and learn all that stuff, you know, the ancient key of life, the Anki, and that symbolizes the man entering the woman's uterus, okay? It's all about making a baby, ladies and gentlemen, caduceus, which symbolizes going from the physical realm all the way up to the metaphysical realm and this is your wings this represents god this is heaven this is your heaven and you're climbing up okay you know who carried a caduceus was hermes who was a greek god and he would help guide you through the underworld a lot of people think this is proof that aliens exist because this was in a biblical picture from hundreds of years ago but it's not it's symbolism for the son of god it's the sun going through the sky learn the symbolism and it sets you free look at that doesn't that look like a sign that we know of that the germans used so i'm going to be putting all this together these are ancient symbols for the sun and look at this that's hmm that's 10,000 years old, over, maybe 20. I think it's 20. Look at that. Interesting, huh? So if that's something that you would be interested in, keep an eye on my website, with the Sun 33 because I am going to be putting that book up for sale once it's ready. And it's, it's going to be, you know, it's a little project, but it will be all in color, and it's going to look as good as I can get. I'm trying to get it, like, really in a nice case and everything. So check me out. Hit that up. Follow me on Telegram with the Sun 33 for all, you know, real videos uncensored. Love you all. And of course, this is for entertainment purposes only.